As the 19th century drew to a close, Spanish writers and artists looked to the past for subjects and themes. The artistic and literary heritage of Spain was being increasingly recognised and acknowledged outside of Spain in a broader European context, with painters such as Velázquez, Ribera and El Greco celebrated as pillars of a Spanish school in painting. In the world of books, the Spanish author and contemporary of William Shakespeare in England, Miguel de Cervantes, was considered as perhaps Spain's greatest literary figure. His novel, Don Quixote, written in two parts in 1605 and 1615, is widely recognised as the first modern novel. It is a mix of comedy, satire and panoramic storytelling set in 17th century Spain. The central characters of the novel, the knight Don Quixote, and his squire, Sancho Panza, had come to be seen as representative of particularly Spanish characteristics. Humour and everyday language made the tale accessible to many readers and brought Cervantes wide recognition, but not necessarily wealth and riches. Marino Cabanero's first visit to Paris in 1877 prompted him to nostalgically draw on scenes from the classic novel as source material for his work. He produced a number of paintings from Cervantes' novel, including this one, which he sent to the National Exhibition of Fine Arts in Madrid in 1895. His virtuosity and skill at recreating atmosphere and essential details won him great acclaim as a painter of historical subjects. This painting recalls a scene from part one of the novel in which Sancho Panza is reunited with his stolen donkey, when, as Cervantes describes, he kissed it, caressed it, as if it were a human being. Cabanero renders the scene in an almost photographic manner under the blazing midday light on a dry and dusty road. His precise and naturalistic approach brought the novel, written three centuries prior, to life.